whenever I get an opportunity to get a basketball player, baseball, MMA, whatever it is, I love to have them in and get a different aspect of sports. Uh, Jalen Rose is with us, ESPN and ABC. If you're NBA, this is your man. Jalen, appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for coming in. Thank you kindly for having me on. Always, always. You know, i watched you over the years. Uh, one of the things I love about you is, is your honesty in the camera. I think people appreciate that. And really just a breakdown, uh, not just of the X's and O's of the game, but the personal side of the game in terms of you know how people approach the game of basketball. Tell, tell me about that and about your experience uh, playing pro basketball and also at Michigan of how that prepared you for what you're doing now. Well, I just felt like being yourself is always the best notion. Uh, you try too hard to please everyone, you end up not pleasing yourself. So I'm fortunate enough, I come from a really, you know, strong background um, in Detroit where I learned how to navigate the good, bad, and ugly of what I may deal with on a daily basis. Um, I fell in love with basketball at a really young age. My father was the number one pick in the 1967 NBA draft, who I never met. So out of spite, his number was 24. In high school, I wore number 42. Fortunate enough to become a McDonald's high school All-American. While I was still actually an honor roll school student as well, went to the University of Michigan, became a member of the Fab Five. Got to check out our Fab Five documentary if you. Have seen I love that it. Story. Awesome. Thank was you. unbelievable. Thank you. Fortunate enough to play 13 years in the NBA, most notably in Indiana. Um, fortunate enough that guys like Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas ever know Great my time name in the NBA. since I grew up idolizing them. And so now, and so now, how do I take advantage of my platform? with ABC and ESPN doing television and radio, what things that I'm passionate about. And I'm really passionate about my philanthropic endeavors, in, in particular how, how it affects education in our society. You and I have a lot in common. I do. My father played 18 years in the National Football League with the Los Angeles Rams, and uh, he and I were estranged for a time, and I understand uh, you and I have that in common as well, and uh, it's tough. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you came through it. I came through it because you learn. You, you gain character, and you're able to help other people, and that's what you're doing uh, now in your life. And you're, I love that word platform. It's something that I talk about a lot with kids. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be an actor, an entertainer, an athlete. You need to be where you're at with the influence you have in the place you're at and using your platform or the way you communicate with others to be a difference maker for others. Absolutely, and that's why I'm here with uh, American Federation for Children, trying to do what we can to help influence education across the country. All students deserve to go to a quality school. With so many kids dropping out, with so many poor performing schools, I'm just an advocate, and I just think it's the right thing to do, that taxpaying citizens should get a voucher or a tax credit for scholarship, and the parent now is empowered to choose a school for their son or daughter. Yes. Doesn't that just seem Choice. so much like right? And so since that's not happening across the country as much as it should, it's happening in 23 states. It should be happening in 50 yes, states. Yes, yes. And so I'm an advocate of that. I'm the founder of the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. Awesome. A tuition-free public charter high school. So I'm committed to trying to do what I can to help influence in a positive way the educational landscape of our young people. Jalen Rose is with us, former Michigan Wolverine and uh, ABC, now uh, covering the NBA for ESPN ABC. But, Jalen, you said something really important. We need to take the politics out of education. One of the reasons why we have this problem is is that politicians and people in school boards and higher-up places are not thinking about the kids first. And you're smiling. Uh, <laughs> but I have been, and I sit down with superintendents. I sit down with associate superintendents. You don't have a choice, and parents have to struggle sending kids to a place that don't prepare them. Then that's the fault of someone else. Absolutely. So the Brown versus Board Education ruling, and I'm in my brain, I think was decided in 1954. And at that point, that's when schools weren't segregated anymore. Well, now it's a different level of segregation and it's fiscal for those that had the wherewithal they're fortunate enough to put their kids in private school or move to a district where schools are performing really well but what about the majority who don't have that option and that's middle class now, we're not talking about just poor Co kids correct absolutely the quality of your education should not be defined by your zip code exactly and that's what takes place every day in our country and for those that, again, just because my mother or father
can't afford to send me to a quality school, didn't get the job or career that they were seeking, or maybe do, but yet can't really afford to take some of the steps I just talked about, that taxpayer and parent should now be empowered to choose where they want their son or daughter to go to school. Just baffling to yeah. me that that's not allowed. And here's the other thing, Jill, that's <laughs> disappointing is we're in an election cycle. And frankly, I'm disappointed because I haven't heard. I don't, I'm not talking about Democrat or Republican here or conservative or liberal. Me what I'm talking Can I say about, this? I don't care if it's a public school, a private a, school, a magnet, magnet school, tr- a home school. Private, Christian school, it, whatever. It, it should be a quality school. Yeah, well, tell the, the thing that bothers me is do you hear one, one of the people running for the president has talked about this next generation of kids or talked about education? I have not heard it once. No, sir, I have not. American Federation for Children, what are we doing to try to help solve this problem and make progress? Because I've talked to them blue in the face, and, and, and can I tell you, it isn't just parents. Um, educators, teachers, coaches, principals, the ones on the ground, they're extremely frustrated. So what I would encourage anyone that can hear our voices, your politicians are elected officials in your community. If you agree with the fact that parents should have the choice where they send their son or daughter to go to school, then the voice should come from the people. Allow your voice to be heard because this is an epidemic that needs to stop. I'm sure you've been around uh, youngsters and students today. One of the things that shocks me in the school systems, and I want you to address this, we're, we're too involved in testing. All we seem to do is teach kids how to test. And when I talk to teachers and coaches, they cut character programs, they cut life skills programs, they cut drug and alcohol education programs, all in the name of put them in school longer, put them in school for more hours. But when they come out, they have no life skills and ability to make good decisions. I'm talking to colleges now that are saying that high school seniors coming into colleges are not prepared to be college students. And that's the dynamic we're looking to fix with the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. And we call that bridging the education gap. So just follow these steps, please, with me. There are people out there, like myself, that are fortunate enough to put their kids in private school. Well, that's an investment of $30,000 a year for 13 years. That's real money. The students that we serve get $7,200 per year from the state. However, we get zero state funding for our facility, not to purchase, not to expand, not to renovate. So what ends up happening is instead of the money that you just talked about for sports, for enriching for life skills, you really end up using it just so the kids can have a building to go to to actually have a school. So as we build, bridge the education gap. So one of my favorites, Jalen Rose. I love you, brother. Good to see you. As we look to bridge the education gap, just think about this. I'm looking to get a, a student to commit to compete in the same college classroom that's getting $23,000 uh-huh. less per year. Hard to do. Le- and, tell me about the Leadership Academy, How what you guys are trying to do to, to help this. Well, the, the thing that we're most proud of is that we're a 9 through 16 model, and we're owning the data. So we have 415 kids in our building. We just graduated 90-plus students. 100% of our students got accepted to a secondary education, whether it's college, university, trade, or, trade school, or military. So in three years, we're going to be serving 800 students, 400 in our building, 400 in college. And in order to get these students through college, you just talked about another dynamic, the ability to have the life skill. So we have advisory for our students. We have leadership. We try to put them in a position to where they learn about sex, drugs, violence, gangs. How do you how, how do you handle yourself in adverse situations? Because that's what they deal with every day. Yes. You want to educate them, but take it from somebody like me. The ability to be able to articulate yourself, that goes just as far as my report card. It goes way further than any test ever. I tell them all the time, this is great technology, but if you're only able to do this and you cannot get in front of someone, look them in the eye, be confident, and talk about who you are eloquently, then you're going to have a hard time in this world. Absolutely. So that's what we're striving to do at JRLA. That's what we're striving to do at American Federation for Children. How are you raising the money? 
Great question. Anyone that has ever heard the word Detroit, ever seen the state of Michigan on a map, gone through Detroit Metropolitan or any airport in the state of Michigan, went to college in the state of Michigan, played for a pro sport, I'm asking for their assistance. Okay. And for the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, you could go to jrladetroit.com. For American Federation for Children in Choice, go to federationchildren.org. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so what we need is is we need some people on this network. Uh, we're in 150 cities. Uh, listen, if you have experienced what Jalen's talking about and you want to put your money where your mouth is and also be involved in something that can help your community, get involved with this, JRLA Detroit, and that's .com. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it, help them out here because you know what? I, I've said this to athletes, Jalen. We all have a passion. We all want to help kids. But we need to come together and we need to help each other. Yep. You know, everybody has wants to help this generation of kids. But if we can come together, if everybody can understand that everybody has a role in this, and that's what I've tried to tell communities, just because your kids have graduated college doesn't mean you have, don't have a responsibility to the kids in your community. That's important. So, Jalen, I, I want to applaud you for the work you to do it. And if you need to come back on the show at any time, you let me know because this is a passion of mine as well. Um, we're in North Carolina. We're in uh, actually in Grand Rapids, Michigan, our program. Okay, great. Uh, so i uh, love to, anytime you need to tell us something or we can be of help to you, please let me know. Thank you. And uh, I, I really look forward to this because from afar I've always appreciated the way that you approach what you do. Uh, this, has been, this has been exciting for me to hear what you're doing. Thank you, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing the results and where you're going with this. And um, uh, one more time on the on the addresses forum on both of these. JRLADetroit.com for the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy to support our fundraising efforts. For school choice, please go to federationchildren.org. Jalen Rose, ESPN ABC. Jalen, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, Connor. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure.